In this video, we're taking a look at the Jordan 11 Low Cement. Welcome back to Kicks on Kicks, my channel where I review sneakers. I'm BJ Kicks, and today we're getting into a sneaker review. Uh, these were sent to me, and these are the Air Jordan 11 uh, Cement or Cement Grays. Now, I'm a sucker for any sneaker with a reference to the University of North Carolina at all. So if there's a hit of University Blue, you got me. You got me. So uh, take off this uh, sort of mangled box top um, and then go through this mangled paper. I don't know what happened at the post office or while this was in transit, but something went straight through the outer box the actual sneaker box top and the paper. But thankfully, I don't see any damage to the sneaker at all. So right here, we have the Air Jordan 11 uh, Cement Low. And uh, we're going to take a look at the shoe. We're going to look at the packaging. I'm going to give you some legit checking indicators that you can look out for. And then we're, uh, we're going to get up out of here. So shout out to the homies that sent this over for review. Their information is down below. And uh Figure we might as well take them both out. Now let's take a look at the sneakers. I'm trying to navigate around this microphone. But here we have them. These are the Air Jordan 11 Lows in the cement gray colorway. And right off the bat, I mean, they're an Air Jordan 11 Low. I don't think I've ever had an Air Jordan 11 Low. Uh, not one of these. I had the 11 Low IEs when they came out in 20. 11 2012 ish um i had the they were concords they were the concord 11 ie lows i loved those but these are a more traditional jordan 11 low when they just cut the top off that ankle collar so of course these are going to get a lot of comparisons to the cool grays let me grab those real quick so these are going to get a lot of comparisons to the cool gray Jordan 11 highs. And I mean, for good reason, the colors are pretty similar, but they're not exactly the same. So you'll notice that this cement gray is a little bit lighter than the cool gray that you find on the high top 11s. This is a classic colorway. These are not necessarily classic, but I like them. I think this is going to be a great summer shoe, but let's take a look at it from the bottom up. So we're going to start out with the classic Air Jordan 11 outsole. You know, it's the icy bottom. You got your traction pods here with the herringbone pattern in that same cement gray uh, peeking through. You can see that jump man right there laid on top of the carbon fiber shank plate. And uh, yeah. That's real carbon fiber. I love the black and university blue hits there. Moving up to the midsole, same white Phylon midsole we've seen on pretty much all the Jordan 11s. And then let's look at the upper. We got that cement gray patent leather going all the way around the shoe. Love that. And then taking a look at the heel. Uh, so of course, got that seam going up. And then you've got a little jump man. This is something that's different between the... Uh, the highs and the lows. We got a little jump man back there in the university blue and got a little two, three right here on this little ankle tab. Help you get the shoe on, uh, on the interior. You'll see that there is a university blue, uh, insole with that jump man there. And then of course, uh, right here on your little jump man, Jordan strap at the third lace, uh, hole. Then you got that university blue, jump man embroidered as well and that's pretty much the shoe so again with a quick look at the packaging you know pardon my packaging's like huge hole but you got the standard air jordan logo from the jordan 11s you've seen these on jordan 7s 8s 9s 10s and 11s of course the box doesn't change again until the jordan 12s but we've got the air jordan logo and it's the Air Jordan Texas in uh, University Blue. Got Nike Air right here. And here we go. Jordan 11 Retro Low. And mine just says White in University Blue. 
I feel like the official sneaker would say cement gray somewhere, but that's it. I got mine in a size nine because I wear a size nine and I think Jordan 11s go true to size. So that's the shoe. Uh, now, as far as some legit checking indicators, there is not a lot that I can see that would separate this from the retail counterparts. So that's where I like to pull out the black light and see if there's anything that I'd notice um, right off the bat. There's a couple of like little glue hot spots, but nothing excessive. Well, no, I'm seeing glue kind of all over the midsole. Typically, I'd be looking for like pen marks on the upper and stuff like that. And I don't see any of that, but um. And honestly, that excessive glue, that could happen on retails as well. But it is there. It is there. So I guess it's worth pointing out. Uh, but honestly, not a whole lot there. Not a lot to work with. So if you're trying to grab these, I'd say, you know, be careful if you're actually looking for the real authentic retail shoe. I don't think these are going to resell for much or if they are reselling at all. Uh, so if you want to get these from the so-called legit sources, you can do that as well. Um, but all in all, a great shoe, great quality. Um, I'm super excited to wear these. I got a beach trip coming up in the summer. So that's where these will get broken out for the first time. And for now, they're on ice. Let me know what you think about these in the comments down below. And uh, we'll see you in another review real soon. Peace.